Hello guys. Today we are going to build an interesting game in Scratch. The name of the game is Ghost Shooter. For this game, we need a sprite of ghost, so choose the ghost sprite. So yes, ghost is in the stage. Now we need to reduce the size of this ghost. So click here and let's make the size 30. So we reduce the size of ghost. Now we need another sprite for that click here and choose a rocket ship. Just search here. Type rocket ship and Yes, so rocket ship is here. Click on that. Let's reduce the size of rocket ship to 50. Yes, so ghost and rocket ship is here. We need a backdrop now. Choose a, a star backdrop. Scroll down and search for the background. Yes, so choose this one. Now let's start doing the coding. First of all, go to events and choose the block when flag clicked. We need to set a position for the rocket ship. So go to motion. And choose the block set Y2. So we are arranging setting at the position Y position of this rocket. Then choose the forever loop from controls and place it over here. We need this rocket ship to move according to our mouse. So for that, choose set X block then go to sensing and drag and drop the mouse x block over here and place this whole block over here now our rocket ship will move as we move our mouse bullet to shoot the ghost so let's draw it for that click here click on paint and we can draw a bullet over here choose this rectangle and draw a rectangle the size of bullet must be small so just shape it So yes, we made a bullet, now just adjust the color, so yes our bullet is ready. Now click on code and we can do the coding for bullet. So click on this bright one which is the bullet. Now go to events and choose the block when flag clicked. Then go to controls and select the forever loop. Now from the motion block palette, drag and drop the block go to random motion. So select this go to random motion. Change random motion to rocket ship. Now place it over here. Yes, so this bullet will move along with the rocket ship. Let's check that. Click on the flag, and you can see that this bullet is moving along with a rocket ship. Click on this backdrop. Here we need to make the bullet move upwards from rocket ship to shoot the ghost. So choose the block when stage click from events. 
then select broadcast message block and place it here. Whenever we click on the stage, a message will be broadcasted now. Now click on bullet and choose the block when I receive message 1. Then go to controls and choose create clone of myself block. So now when we click on the stage, clones of bullets will be produced. Click on the flag. Now just click on the stage and you can see this clones of bullet is producing. Now go to events and choose the block when I start as a clone. Then we need this repeat and then block. And we need an OR block from operators. Go to operators and choose the OR block. Now to fill up these two places, we need to go to sensing and choose the block touching mouse pointer. Just place it here. Now change mouse pointer to ghost. Once again choose the same block. Now change this mouse pointer to edge and place it over here. Let's place this whole block over here. So when we touch the ghost or touch the edge, the bullet will be moved upwards. So we need one more block for that. Go to motion and choose the block change Y by 10. Now click on the flag and yes click on the stage and you can see that the bullet is moving upwards. So now this rocket ship is shooting. Can you see this bullet over here? We need to hide this. For that, go to looks and drag the block, go to friend layer. Yes, so choose this block, go to friend layer. Now change friend to back. Yes, and now place it over here. Now click on the flag and you can see that the bullet is not appeared in the front. So we hide it, uh, the bullet. You can see the cloned bullets in the top position. To remove that, choose the block, delete the clones from controls. So go to controls and drag and drop the block, delete the clone. So just drag it and drop it here. Now, whenever this bullet touches the block, we must gain score. So, just need to call that too. For that, go to control and select the block if then. Now, from sensing, drag and drop the block, touching mouse pointer. Change mouse pointer to ghost and place it here. Now, when the bullet touches the ghost, we must gain one score. So, go to variables and create a variable. Let us create a variable named score. Yes. So, when this bullet touches the ghost, change score by 1. So choose this change my variable and to change my variable to score. 
now place this whole block over here also when we start the game our score must be zero so we must set the variable so set the score to zero now place this block over here click on flag and you can see when this bullet touches the ghost the score is incremented by one So you can see this ghost is standing over here it is just standing there and not moving so we must make this ghost move or appear from random positions so click on this ghost and here first go to events and select the block when flag clicked Then choose the block get xy from motion so that we can set a position to this ghost. Now go to control and choose a repeat block and inside this we need a block from motion. So choose this move 10 steps block from motion. Also, we need the block create clone of myself block from controls. Now, after moving 10 steps, the ghost will create a clone of itself. After creating one clone, wait for some seconds. So, we need the wait block. Choose that from controls. Drag and drop this weight one second block. Replace one with two. Just place this whole block over here. Click on the flag. And you can see this is not perfect so we need to avoid this problem for that go to looks and first choose show block and place it here after that choose hide block and place it over here now click on the flag now also the problem is not solved so let's choose some other blocks to avoid this problem. Go to controls and select the block when I start as a clone. Then choose the forever loop. So go to controls and choose the forever loop. Now select the block move 10 steps from motion and place it here. Now go to control and choose if then block. From sensing we need the block touching mouse pointer. So select that and change mouse pointer to edge. Just place it here. Change mouse pointer to edge and place it in this place. When we touch on this edge, the ghost will change its position. So we need to choose the block change Y by 10. So choose that block. Now replace 10 with minus 10. Let's place this block over here. When this ghost touches the edge, it must bounce back. So choose the block E for an edge bounce. For that, go to motion. Then select the block E for an edge bounce. And place it over here. Now 
when the ghost touches the bullet the clone must be deleted to go to controls and choose the block if then then go to sensing and choose the block touching mouse pointer change this mouse pointer choose sprite one that is our bullet place it over here so when this ghost touches the sprite one that is the bullet the clone must be deleted so go to controls and choose this delete this clone block and place it over here Yes. Place this whole block over here and click on the flag. Can you see this ghost is moving too fast? So let's do some adjustments in this. So it is very difficult to play this game. Let's make some adjustments. So make the waiting seconds 0.1. So delete this 2 and type 0.1 there. If this goes in a specific manner, we need the block set rotation style. So for that go to motion and choose the block set rotation style so make it left and right and place it over here click on the flag you can see it is moving too fast and just the wait seconds to 0.5 click on the flag and it's perfect now But here we need to do some changes. Place this show block here. So just place the show block here and hide block here. Click on the flag and yes, our game is perfect now. be continued or repeated until this ghost touches rocket ship so choose a repeat until block then choose touching mouse pointer block from sensing we need only repeat until block and we don't need this repeat block so we need to remove that place this whole block and to repeat until block and remove this one Yes, so click on the flag and you can see the game is perfect now. Let's add some sound for this. So when we gain a score, we can make a sound. So go to sounds and choose a play sound. So here you can see only space ripple sound. So go to sounds and choose another sound. From this library, choose a sound. Let's choose from percussion. Let it be a hi-hat. So you can see. two sounds here just remove this now coming back to code let's make this hi-hat so we selected the start sound block and place it over here now when we gain one score a sound will be played guys i hope you all like today's crash video and try this by yourself and we will meet again in next session with another interesting crash video till then bye